Another reason I took this job is to have the privilege to talk about the presidential campaign. You see, it is it's a, total, it's a privilege and an honor to sit up here every night and talk to you about it. 2016 is the fifth race that I've been on TV for. And from this position of experience, let me tell you that this year, there are a lot of candidates. <laughs> this one. <laughs> this guy. This guy. This guy. This is nice. This guy smells like peppermint. <laughs> this, this right here, this is an embarrassment of riches of embarrassing rich people. <laughs> Speaking of which, you want to talk about Donald Trump? Yeah. Uh, not as much as Donald Trump does. <laughs> and people love this man because he's averaging nearly 30% in the polls, 12 points higher than his nearest rival, neurosurgeon Ben Carson. <laughs> of course, this isn't the first time a surgeon has been destroyed by a loud, lumbering monster. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Jim, 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 ah, uh, Mexican bad. <laughs> build, build wall. You're fired. But, folks, it's not just Trump. It's all of these people here. America has been captivated by the spectacle of 22 political warriors ruthlessly battling in the arena for our support. It's like the Hunger Games. No. It's more than that. It's the Hungry for Power Games! Welcome to the Hungry for Power Games. <laughs> Candidates, assemble. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, look here, a fresh crop of tributes for the capital. May the margin of error be forever in your favor. <laughs> let's see, let's see, now, who looks expendable this year? Hmm, yes, yes. Have the large, angry one from the east fight the curly-haired one from the coal district. <laughs> Yeah, delicious, delicious. <laughs> but citizens, sadly, over the weekend, we lost one of the most promising tributes. James? Republican Rick Perry has become the first major candidate to drop out of the 2016 presidential race. Today, I'm suspending my campaign for the presidency of the United States. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Rick, we hardly knew ye existed. Because you were polling at 0.8%. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Delicious. Yes. Well behind none of them at 4%. <laughs> yes. Oh. 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 Mm. If only, if only the governor could have been as inspirational as none. <laughs> but Governor Perry knew how to make the most of his final moment in the arena. Telling a supporter before his speech, we'll make a little history here. <laughs> yes, it's like the old saying, history is written by those who quit 14 months before the thing happens. <laughs> Cheers. Of course, true, true. Yes, yes. True connoisseurs of the game saw this coming. Perry's sponsors had been fleeing him for months, causing him to lay off staff, shutter campaign headquarters, and even downgrade his smart guy glasses to a smart guy monocle. <laughs> he fought briefly, but bravely. Let us bid farewell to the fallen. Farewell, Rick Perry. As much as I'm going to miss Rick Perry, 
I think I'm going to miss my jokes about his smart guy glasses even more. Of course, Rick Perry's fall raises some interesting questions. I think Senator Rand Paul said it best when he tweeted, What does it say about GOP when a three and a half term gov with a successful record of creating jobs bows out as a reality star leads in the polls? <laughs> I'll tell you what it says, Senator. It says there's finally room for one of those duck dynasty guys to get in. <laughs> my friends, my friends, the state of our union is. Stick around, citizens. We've got Jake Gyllenhaal and Tim Cook. <laughs> <laughs>